Hi everyone, I am going to react to Kimetsu no Yaiba, Demon Slayer, episode 11, the Suzumi Mansion. Last episode, we said goodbye to Yushiro and Lady, what's her name? Tamayo, yeah, we said goodbye to them because, you know, she, she was worried that What's his name? Muzan was gonna know about her whereabouts. So yeah, they left. <laughs> you should have finally admitted that Nezuko was pretty. And uh, they were about to be sent on another mission, right? And then they came upon the guy with the yellow hair that was always afraid of dying. And yeah, I think this. And then those two demons that they defeated, like... Uh, Lady Tamayo said that they were not part of the 12 demons of the inner circle of Muzan. So, yeah, we still have those people to worry about. I don't know how that's going to be because these two were already hard enough to defeat. So, yeah. Okay, let's check out this episode. And here we go. Oh, and if you want to see the reaction, the link is going to be in the description box and in the comment section. So click on it, watch it, and come back for my review. Hey, here we go. Okay. Zenitsu. Uh, yeah, yeah. He, he's, he's way too much, man. Like, he's way too much. I was getting annoyed about he's whining, he's screaming, he's like everything. And then I'm like, if you're so afraid of dying, why are you even a sword man? And I think they they mentioned it, but I, I missed it. So I went back and tried to go back to the part where um, Tanjiro asked him. And he's like, he was swindled by a woman and racked up a lot of deaths. And then the, the old man that took over the deaths, I'm guessing he said it was a, a cultivator. What, what is a cultivator? And then when he said he was cultivated, the next thing that he said is that he he went through hellish training and then he was in the in the exam trying to be a hunter, a demon hunter. So is a cultivator the same thing as the the trainer, uh, like Sakonji? Is, he, is that what he means by cultivator? Because I don't know that that expression. Why would? <laughs> I'm googling it. Just trying to see what the cultivated means. Okay, cultivate something. Okay. I don't know. But I don't know why the cultivator would want him to become a demon slayer. And that, that does. I don't know. Maybe I'm misunderstanding the cultivator word, or maybe there's a translation mistake there i don't know but like he's just so whiny i'm gonna die i'm gonna die protect me protect me and like i don't know even the bird was tired of it <laughs> and when tonkiro was uh like talking to the bird i'm like can you understand it, the bird and it turns out that yeah he can understand him and then when tanjiro's bird came i think they gave his name Ma masuemon tenoji that's his bird's name crow his bird is a crow that's the crow's name so when the crow started talking he's like head south southeast right he's telling both of them and then um zenitsu heard it and he's like oh, the bird can talk but the fact that tanjiro can speak to the sparrow i'm like okay am i is he like when he talks to his crow is he just are they translating to us what the bird and him are talking about or is the bird actually speaking so it wasn't until zenitsu started like oh my gosh the bird is talking and i'm like okay the bird actually talks <laughs> and then they sent the crow sent them to this mansion with this demon that has uh, what are they called again 
to sew something with me. Uh uh, I forgot. I thought I wrote it down. But like those drum stuff, like it's around, it's seen him like all around. And then when he like beat on it, then the f things change in the mansion. And when they came upon those two little kids, and they're like, their brother was taken. And then this guy like comes out of the mansion, right? And he's all beat up. That scene was so sad when he's like, I finally made it out, but I'm not gonna die. And then he died. Now, the. <sighs> and then he asked the two kids, like, Is that your brother? And they're like, No, our brother wears a pers persimmon something glue. So, Tanji was like, Okay, we need to go inside. And I knew that. Uh, what's his name? Okay, for Zenitsu. Like, Zenitsu was not gonna want to get in there because he's a coward. But the look <laughs> that Tonkiro gave me, and he was like, Why are you looking at me like that? And then he went with him. And I completely forgot the fact that Tonkiro had his rib broken in the match um, last episode. And it wasn't until he mentioned it. And then Zenitsu was like, oh my gosh, like if your ribs or something are broken, that means I'm gonna die, so, or something or other. And Tanjiro was about to say something. He's about to say that Zenitsu is something, and I'm wondering what that is. Is it that he's stronger than he thinks? Or something? Like, he has to be strong. I mean, he made it pass through the final selection, so... He has to come some kind of he has to have some kind of strength and ability, you know. So yeah, I'm wondering what Tanjiro was about to say. And then the kids before Tanjiro left, he left um Nezuko with the kids, right? And he's like, You're gonna be okay because when night comes, you know, like he she can come out of the cage and she can protect the kids, but when I, I believe the night night was coming right and so she was rustling in there maybe i don't know and then the kids got scared they ran into the building and then um they got separated Tanjiro had the girl and then Seto had the boy right and then the fact that even the kid the kid is younger than Zenitsu and like it's to see the way Zenitsu was acting he's like oh you're ashamed I love all the things he said and he was just like stabbing through Zenitsu's heart <laughs> like I love that and then they open the thing the door and then they come upon the the guy with the boars they said boars hide on his head I guess in the intro all the time so he runs out right I believe he was running toward the demon and then when Tanjiro came face to face with the demon and he was about to attack and then the demon hit the, the thing and then the thing changed and the other one like the with the one with the boar on the on the head like he runs in and before he, he even ran in the demon was saying something about why do they keep coming here why do they keep barging in on my territory like because of them i lost this um, probably the guy that died in the beginning, right? When he was saying that, why do they keep barging in? I'm like, they must mean the swordsman, meaning Zenitsu, Tanjiro, and then this guy with the boar head. So, is uh, the bird, the crow, sent both of them there? So, are they, I guess they must be incredibly worried about this demon there. So they are sending as many swordmen as they can. And then it seems like his power is that you, when you come into this mansion, you're not going to be able to get out. Like, if since things change on his whim, like he just does this and then things change, it's going to be incredibly hard for you to get out of it. And that guy was able to get out, but then he died, which is sad. And he said something, did he mean something about that guy having some kind of rare blood? And with Tanjiro, I believe Tanjiro and Ezuko also have some kind of rare bloodline thing going on. So, if that demon notices it, is he gonna go after them as well? I don't know. This episode was mostly about Zen Zenitsu, but I'm telling y'all, man, like he's. I hope they tone down his his everything. Like, keep it to a minimum because it's way too much. 
Like he screams about everything, complains about everything. Like I don't know, but I I, I applaud that that little sparrow man. Like to have to deal with him like all the time. Oh my gosh, that's way too much. Thank you guys for watching and if you like this reaction please give it a thumbs up please subscribe and i will see you on sunday for my reaction to demon slayer episode 12. now if you want to see that reaction right now you can do so by checking out my patreon and you can also see the full length of this reaction there as well now thanks for watching and i will see you next time bye <laughs>